All right, guys, I just got this um, DAP wall repair patch kit, dry decks spackling. I had a uh, mishaps, um, got a new couch, and it's power uh, recline, de decline or whatever. So it's like a lazy boy, but electric. Um, it was given to me, and I would never buy one. It was like way too expensive. But anyway, uh, the back of the couch was too close to the wall and it got hung up and when I went to it backed <clears throat> down fine but when I went and raised up it dug into the wall and made a little hole in the wall so I decided to get this little patch kit instead of buying everything individually because the hole is only about this big and the drywall is still pushed in there so and it's beat it's behind the couch so you can't really see it unless you look back there but I figured this would be a really good kit to buy instead of buying it. if you buy everything individually you're probably gonna end up spaying this much or more um, this has a little patch which I probably won't use but it would be handy if the hole was completely through the wall and there was nothing there but since the drywall is still there um, it's gonna be able to hold this uh, spackling so what I'm gonna do is uh, just fill it in and this this goes on pink and when it's dry it turns white so you know it's ready to sand or paint but if you need to sand it if it's out in the open and if you have a flat wall they give you a little piece of uh, like P100 uh, sand grit paper to smooth it out and then they give you a little diagram and a little directions to where how you're supposed to patch a hole this would be really good too if uh, if you have like rental properties or you have you know whoever kids that slam doors this would be a perfect uh, patch kit for uh, a doorknob because doorknobs when you usually slam them that's what usually about the size of hole they make when they go through the wall but I have door stoppers and I have a little rubber disc where the door is at. So if it is slammed, it'll hit that door stopper and it'll hit that plastic reinforcement piece. So that way, hopefully nobody will put a hole in my door. <laughs> but this is the total kit. I think the kit was around $12 um, at Lowe's. You might be able to get it cheaper other places or if it's on sale, but um, by the time you buy everything, you're probably gonna end up spending over 10 bucks, so it was easier for me just to buy this. And like I said, I'm probably only gonna be using these two things. Um, this by itself is like seven or eight bucks, and then this is like a dollar or two bucks, so you're gonna spend 10 bucks either way. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this hole in. I'll, I'll make a video of that later, because um, I have to pull the couch apart and everything like that, so. But if you like this video, crush the like button. And if you have a small hole, I think this would be a really good uh, little kit if you don't want to buy a big tub because these big tubs are like 20 bucks. But this would be perfect to probably patch maybe a few holes or uh, if you're moving out of an apartment or you just want to fill some stuff in, you got some nail holes or thumbtack holes or little scuffs and scratches, this would be a really good um, kit to buy for like, like a one bedroom. But if you have a bunch of holes, a bunch of repairs, of course you're gonna have to buy a bigger kit or at least uh, more of this uh, spackling filler. So if you like this video, crush the like button. I'll see if I can find uh, this online, but I think you're better off going to Home Depot or Lowe's or uh, you know a close, close hardware store because I tried to order this online and it kept being delayed and it was more expensive so yeah just try to find it in your local hardware store all right guys thanks for watching